Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's so good to be back here in CCC today. Those who don't know me, my name is Ruth Donato Ortiz. I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York. Hallelujah. <laughs> and in case you're guessing, I'm from Puerto Rican descent. Gloria a Dios. Hallelujah. And, but I've been living in Sunbury, Pennsylvania, for almost 40 years. And I went there to go to Bible school in 1983. I was 23 years old. And now I'm 62. Can you believe it? I was 25 the other day. Amen, sister. I got the amen. I know. But praise God. You know, for his mercy and his love and his grace. And I just want to thank you all for just allowing me to come back every year. And as you know, or if you don't remember, I, my brother Abe, I don't know, some of you met him a little over six years ago when we came and you were still in the other church. And he, him, him and I came to minister. But that same year in 2016, September 18th, he went to be with the Lord at in the Dominican Republic where he was a missionary. Him and his wife raised up a school there. His wife went home in 2011 and then he passed in 2016. And she saw children three and four years old out in the streets all day. And she said, why are these children, why aren't they in school? And they said they don't have enough finances in this particular place with the send children to school at this age. And she told my brother, she would call him by his last name, Donato. We gotta do something here. And the school opened. Alma, her name was Alma. Alma Iris Donato School for Children. And that was almost 20 years ago. And I just, the Lord, the mantle came to me, because he would be there, and they would come back to the US to raise funds, because they, they couldn't do it there in the uh, and so any offerings that you've ever given me have gone right to the school. Amen. And in two weeks, the pastor, who was my, who was my brother's right-hand man, Pastor Carlos, him and his family finally got visas in July. Amen. So they're actually in the United States now. Amen. And so August, October 4th, they're going to come to stay with me in Sunbury. And I have different things planned for them. <coughs> Just being able to share with him more about and him with us about what God is still doing at the school. Amen. And the children are from like three years old to like 10 or 11. And this is a very, 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 very poor area I had the opportunity to go in 2017. And as they're going on to the regular schools, this is a Christian school, they're saying to them, how are you teaching these children? They are surpassing mm -hmm. the children in the other schools. Amen. And when COVID was, you know, they had, they had to do homeschooling too. They used flip phones. They didn't have the regular. And, and the parents were there. They did excellent. The teachers only had little phones, so God made a way for us to send them money so they could buy laptops. Amen. Over there, we just got them chairs and desks because the ones they had were too old. And they also have a board of education that has to keep up. Everything has to be up to date. So God is doing something. Amen. God is moving. I, I don't even know how to go on. That worship was Amen. amazing. I was just sitting there just crying and like, oh my God, oh God, oh God of David. Amen. And he's covering us. He's covering us. Amen. I just think we should, I always change the order. It's just, I know, the Holy Spirit. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. <coughs> Turn it around. We're going to turn it around. Amen. God's going to turn it around. Amen. Turn a nation. Oh, 
And I said, Father, I have to. I have to say it to him. He has to hear me even though he's just looking up to the ceiling. We have to minister to him. And God gave me that opportunity. And then my twin brother, was, he was able to go. And my older sister. And then we just believed God and we listened to the Lord. We believed the Holy Spirit was in the room. And he was inside my father. And the Spirit just met his spirit. And said, Abelando, it's time. It's time you fought me for 91 years. Amen. He got to see Jesus. And the day that he died, my brother was going in and they called him and they said, We're working on your father. When Betty got up there, he was gone. I said, Betty, let me see him. And he was gone. I've never seen peace on my father. He was always angry. He never knew how to love us, especially the girls. But God was so faithful. How he turned things around. And I got breakthrough. Just those weeks, I had forgiven him. But still, stuff was lingering. You know what I'm saying? And God gave me the opportunity. I was actually ministering in a church that Sunday with my late ladies here. God just started. I said, my dad was like the thief on the cross. Right there. Jesus said, today you will be with me in paradise. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm praying God come and turn your situation around. Turn it around. I'm speaking to your life right now, whoever it is. You know your circumstances, your situation. Hallelujah. I'm calling on the name that changes everything. God, turn it around. God, turn it around. God, turn it around. All of my hope is in the name. The name of Jesus, breakthrough, breakthrough will come, come in the name, the name of Jesus, all of my hope, all of my hope is in the name, the name of Jesus, all the breakthrough, breakthrough will come, come in the name, the name of Jesus. God turned it around. God turned it around. God turned it around. On the third day, God turned it around. The tomb was empty. God turned, he turned it around. Turned it around. They came to that tomb. Why are you looking for the living among the dead? God turned it around. He turned around. The enemy thought he had him, but God turned it around. God turned it around. God turned it around. Your sickness, your family, whatever's going on, God's turning it around. He's turning it around. He's turning it around. That's the only thing he can do. He turns things around. He turned things around. He turned things around. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Church, remember. Remember the cross. Remember the day you met.
Just one 
they may not be as strong today. I'm going through something today. I may not see tomorrow, but we're not supposed to win. Hallelujah. But we believe. Yes. We believe. Yes. Yes. Can you know he's in the room this morning? Yes, he is. How many believe he's in the room? Yes. the room of our hearts. Yes. So he's been coming in here. We may be the only Christians in this place right now. I don't know. But the overflow from here needs to flow all over this building. Amen. He's Changes. 
working back then. <laughs> when I was make, making, I worked for WIC and I still work for WIC, hallelujah. I'm a community health worker there now. And I went and applied for food stamps. And I was $12 over. So, you know, I said, okay, Father. I knew I'm not gonna, you know, go hungry. I just needed something extra. And I was looking at a picture of me yesterday. You said me. And I think about seven years ago, we had a home. I still have my home. I should have been in the streets with my salary. It was 16000 a year. Calculate that and having a home and everything else that goes with it. But today, oh my God, I'm going 20 years now. I got one late mortgage. One, nothing's been late. Amen. The provider. Yes. The yes. miracle worker. The promise keeper. Yes. Whatever you're needing, He can supply. He's the one who does miracles. Time, whatever, whatever you're needing. He, I'm a testimony. He's the one who's done miracles. Time after time. You see, church, that's the God who's in the room with us. That's the God who's in the room. Oh, that's the God. That's the God. Jesus 
children, for our marriages, hallelujah. We're going to stand and we're going to declare it in the name of Jesus. If you know the song, sing it. If you don't, just praise him and thank him, hallelujah. Everything is still the same, but God, hallelujah, will move in your behalf this morning. He wants to move on your behalf, on my behalf, but I have to call on his name, hallelujah. Stop going to everybody else and go to the one who can change it, hallelujah. The name of Jesus. Oh, shout Jesus. Go ahead, sister. Shout Jesus from the mountain. Jesus in the street. Jesus in
wonderful, a wonderful blessing. You may be seated if you can. Now you don't have to, you don't want to. But God is good. And all the time, God is good. Thank you so much, Sister Martinez. That blessing. Wasn't that wonderful? Yes. The word through song and music touches the soul. Praise the Lord. 